Hey there team, just wanted to give you guys a little note here, a couple thoughts to have for our uh, big Conejo Cup matches. Um, since we're all playing doubles this weekend, I wanted to go ahead and just give a couple doubles notes. I'm gonna break, uh, break it down into four little things here, okay? First one is, uh, be a good partner, okay? So what that means is, when your partner misses or makes mistakes, it should be nothing but good try, keep going for your shot, uh, thoughts like that. If you say anything like, oh, maybe you should do this differently, just so you know, even if it's the best advice ever, it will not be well received. It will make the person not feel that good about themselves, a little more insecure, and they will play worse. So again, it's not about whether advice is good or bad. Just know that in let, your basic thing should just be, hey, keep going for it, you're doing awesome, or whatever. Now, if on the sideline you wanna strategize and everything like that, that's different, that's a great thing. But telling your partner how to help them out, that usually doesn't go over well. Number two, nerves. So of course we're gonna be nervous out there, especially because we wanna come through for the team and we wanna perform here for WAC and get everybody to get a good team win here. Um, the, the one little note I'm gonna make about the nerves is, of course you're gonna feel nervous, right? So I want you to one, not freak out about the nerves, but two, not try to block the nerves. Just accept that nerves are part of it. That's what's exciting. That's why we signed up, because it's gonna be a fun event where we get a little anxious, we get uh, a little nervous out there, and we're gonna just embrace that and go, okay, I'm nervous. Okay, now what I'm gonna do? How am I gonna hit the ball? And then the nerves will still be there, but they won't be as powerful. Number three, who gets the ball? The person who can get to the ball, particularly when you're at the net. So what I'm saying is, I want our net players to always be trying to get the ball, and yes, sometimes you might cross and get a ball that would have been better if you let your partner get it, but it's way better to do that because as soon as you start uh, telling your partner, oh, you should have let that one go, or you start thinking you should have let that one go to your partner, now every time your opponent hits a ball, you're evaluating whether you're gonna hit it or not. That evaluation time takes up reaction time, and now the balls that are hit at you, you're not even able to volley as well. So when you're volleying out there in doubles, you need to just get the ball, and sometimes you get a ball you shouldn't have, but then you'll actually do better split steps and you'll be able to volley better in general. Lastly, number four, uh, one of the big things I always say about doubles is when you're hitting ground strokes, returns, it's how you hit it, not where you hit it. And when you're at the net volleying, it's where you hit it, not how you hit it. And what I'm referring to is when you're at the baseline, if you hit a good shot, whether it's at the net person or cross court, it's gonna be successful. If you try to aim too much, that's when you start missing and hitting bad shots. So put your head down and hit really good shots, no matter where it goes. When you're at the net, instead of trying to over hit and hit hard balls, focus on being calm and just letting it bounce off your strings and placing the balls to the correct spots. So how you hit it and where you hit it. All right team, I'm fired up. Try to remember those four things as you get out there. Be a good partner. Embrace the nerves and the anxiety that's gonna happen. Go for the balls at the net. Don't tell your partner that they shouldn't go for a ball. Go for the ball, be aggressive up there. And four, how you hit it at the net, uh, at the baseline and where you hit it when you're at the net. All right guys, I'm fired up. Good luck out there.